In the 90 Day Fiancé franchise, fans think that they've spotted a host of sugar baby romances, and it's time to discuss them in detail. Many foreign partners come from less privileged backgrounds, and while some are content with low-key lifestyles, others have much higher expectations. Such individuals have refined tastes, which means that they are often interested in fancy clothes, jewelry, homes, and trips. Some 90DF viewers believe these reality stars don't feel appreciated if they don't get expensive things. These cast members and alums get dragged because they always appear to look for partners with big wallets. Many cast members on the show are clearly in it for love. They're fine with more meager lifestyles if it means that they can be with the people that they care about. However, some 90 Day Fiancé franchise stars are not quite that understanding, and they may be looking for sugar daddies or mamas. Those franchise stars seem to be very picky when it comes to the way they live and the things that they want in life, and they appear to want their partners to foot the bill. In terms of cast members who get the most criticism for being the sugar babies of the franchise, fans think they demand too much and are too materialistic. However, some of these possibly greedy people have been good partners too. Nonetheless, they definitely have a lot of financial needs and are often called out by fans who believe they're materialistic and shallow. Lana. Svet Lana David Murphy engagement in 90 Day Fiancé 2. Lana's relationship with David Murphy on 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 days was a total scam. He spent over $100,000 on her over the course of several years. David even tried to visit Lana in Ukraine multiple times, and she ghosted him every time. Clearly, Lana was interested in David for his money and nothing more. She has gone as far as to say that her entire storyline was heavily scripted for the show. And Visa Arkhavchenko. When she first debuted on the franchise, it quickly became clear that Aunt Visa was very concerned with money and material goods. She was extremely demanding when it came to getting her ex-husband Jorge Nava to buy her things, and she always wanted what was the most expensive. Anne Visa never seemed to be satisfied, and fans regularly dragged her online. However, Anne Visa now supports herself, so she has become her own sugar mama. Though Aunt Visa still gets criticism, she does usually get shade for expecting men to buy her things. Andre Kastrovit. After Andre married Elizabeth Podest, many viewers believed that he wanted to build his success on the backs of his wife's family members. Libby's father Chuck Podest owns a successful family business, and Andre has been trying to break into it, much to the chagrin of Libby's siblings. He directly asked Chuck for large amounts of money to launch an ill-conceived business venture, and many fans think he expects things to be handed to him, just like any sugar baby. Juliana Custodio. Juliana has always given 90 Day Fiancé viewers major trophy wife vibes, and it's not always her fault. She's a Brazilian model who was showered with gifts by her ex husband, Michael Jessen. It's safe to say that she has definitely grown accustomed to a lavish lifestyle. Now, Juliana has split up with Michael and is dating someone new, and many fans think it's because Michael may be struggling financially. Amira Alyssa.The friend star from 90 Day Fiancé Season 8 has always had an obsession with clothes, makeup, and all things expensive, and fans believe she wants to find a man to cover the bill. Her ex-fiancé Andrew Kenton isn't especially wealthy, but he still claims Amira was demanding. She's now dating a new American man, and viewers think she will be expecting many gifts and extravagant trips, 
just like she did with Andrew. Luis Mendes. When Luis married Molly Hopkins in season 5, fans assumed it was because he wanted a green card and a taste of her money. Molly runs a successful lingerie company, and while she's not loaded, she does very well for herself. Throughout season 5, Luis lived well, while failing to contribute anything to the relationship or Molly's family. Many viewers believe Luis saw Molly as his ticket to an easy life in America and was just using her. Usman Umar. Recently on Before the 90 Days, Usman Aka Sohaboy was giving off major sugar baby vibes. His new American lady Kim Menzies arrived in Tanzania during a new episode and was quick to shower Usman with gifts. Usman was thrilled when he was given a new MacBook Pro and PS5, which he accepted, before leaving Kim for the night and going back to his own room. Many fans are worried that Usman is just using Kim. The whole thing felt icky to viewers who were turned off by Usman's greediness. Yara Zaya. Yara is well known for her expensive tastes and the many demands she directs at her husband, Joby Dufferin. She is someone who wants to be given lavish gifts to feel appreciated, and Jovi has spent good money buying her clothes, jewelry, and expensive trips. Yara definitely adores Jovi, but she also loves being spoiled by him. Brittany Banks. Brittany is another cast member who loves receiving expensive and luxurious gifts. She has said that she enjoys dating older men, and many fans suspect it's because they are more likely to be wealthy. Fans think that anyone who dates Britney needs to have a fat wallet or she won't be satisfied. Britney makes money off her social media persona, and it's one that seems to attract a lot of sugar daddies. These 90-day fiancé franchise cast members have high expectations when it comes to the people that they date because they're determined to live glam lifestyles. They enjoy fancy meals and fine clothes and aren't content with their lives if they don't have the very best. However, such stars may not want to fund their lavish lifestyles themselves. These sugar babies will always be looking to get spoiled by their partners, no matter who they are with.